So, full of questions, are you? <laughs> well, that depends, does it not? What does she seem to be? <laughs> oh, she is certainly old. Have no mistake of that. Tell me, how much do you know of the tale? The one that the chastened still tell of my mother, to frighten them into obedience. I can relay what Flemeth once told me herself, and you can decide whether or not tis the truth, if you desire. As the tale is sung by the bards, there was a time when Flemeth was young and beautiful, a fair lass in a land of barbarian men, the desire of any who saw her. Many centuries before this land was even named Ferelden. The tales say that Flemeth fell in love with Osin the Bard and fled the castle of her husband, the dread Lord Conobar, and that he swore vengeance for her infidelity. In truth, my mother claims that twas Osin who was her husband and Conobar the jealous Lord who looked on from afar. Lord Conobar approached young Osin and offered him wealth and power in exchange for his lovely wife, and Osin agreed. The life of a bard is a poor one, and love fades in the wake of hunger. It was Flemeth who suggested the arrangement. All would have been well had Lord Conobar kept his end of the bargain. But he was a foul man who bargained with coin he did not possess. Osen was led off to a field and slain, left for dead. Flemeth spoke to the spirits and learned of the deed, and swore revenge. Spirits first, and twas they who slew Conobar. Flemeth did not turn to the demon until... much later. Lord Conobar's allies chased Flemeth, you see. Chased her to the wilds, and there she hid. There she found the demon, and he made her strong. The legends all speak of the great hero Cormac, he who defeated Flemeth and her great army when she invaded the lowlands centuries later. All lies. The truth of the matter is that there was never an invasion. As Flemeth tells it, the Chastened never raised an army under her banner and she never fought with any warrior named Cormac. Cormac led a brutal civil war against his own people and later claimed it was to vanquish evil that had taken root amongst the Lords. Thus, he was hailed a hero. Flemeth was only attached to the legend much later. Perhaps it was due to the great war with the Chastened that eventually came, but Mother claims not to know how it began. You ask if I have sisters? I have asked of this myself. The stories tell of many witches of the wilds after all, not just the one. And these tales existed long before I did. Flemeth refuses to speak of other daughters, if they existed. So should I believe I am her first? I doubt that too. The Chastened tell of a falling out between Flemeth and her daughters. 
They say that one day she hunted them all through the wilds and ate their hearts. It may be true. I have never seen another witch or heard of one. Perhaps one day Flemeth will eat my heart as well. Flemeth tells it with far more embellishment than I, but you are welcome. Dare I ask of your own mother? Few are abominations of legend, tis true, but I find myself curious nevertheless. Ah, oh, then you have my sympathies for what it is worth. Which is very little, I am certain. It matters not. Let us move on. Now that's a thing of beauty, Gunner. Do you look on the front of all Your friends are formidable folk, indeed. It's good to have you along on the road. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected, and with your discount.
Yes. Yes. You have fine weapon and arms, dwarven. Stranger, have you seen a Grey Warden hereabouts? I've been privy to the rumor that he... or was that she? You understand this was many mugs ago. It was searching for Bronca on Lord Harriman's own command. Stout and muscular, fair of face, but with a strong jaw and a bold nose, surrounded by a great glowing nimbus. If she's a woman, she might be more slight, but her eyes will shine with the light of purity, and her large but chaste bosom will heave magnificently. I've been looking for hours, but I haven't seen anyone who looks like that. Very frustrating. Seriously? You're the Warden? <laughs> I mean, the Grey Warden? <laughs> well, if you're the best they got, then standards must have fallen way down. But I suppose that would account for that pack of surfacers you got with you. Say, could I ask you a favor? Name's Ogren, and if you've ever heard of me before, it's probably all been about how I piss ale and kill little boys who look at me wrong. <laughs> and that's mostly true, but the part they never say is how I'm the only one still trying to save our only paragon. And if you're looking for Bronca, I'm the only one who knows what she was looking for, which might be pretty sodding helpful in finding her. I know what Bronca wanted, and how she was looking. You, I assume, know whatever Harrowmont's men have dug up on where exactly she disappeared. If we pool our knowledge, we stand a chance of finding Bronca. Otherwise, good sodding luck. You should know that Bronca was looking for the Anvil of the Void. The secret to building golems, which was lost centuries ago. The smith Caradin built it, and with it, Orzammar had a hundred years of peace, while it was protected by the golems forged on the anvil. As far as anyone knows, the anvil was built in the old Orton Taig. Bronca planned to start looking there, 